Hey guys, welcome back for more Frostpunk. My favourite, without a question, my favourite game of 2018. It is awesome and it continues to get better and better. They've just released a new scenario, The Fall of Winter Home. Now this introduces new mechanics, it's got, it's got all kinds of new stuff in it and it also introduces like a whole new set of lore about The Fall of Winter, Winter Home, which we found out about in the, in the very first scenario. So, shall we, uh, shall we get in and play the game? Let's play the game. Select scenario, The Fall of Winter Home. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Now, I'm gonna play this like first playthrough, I'm gonna play on normal, and then we'll do a playthrough on hard, and then we'll, uh, who knows, we'll maybe even do a playthrough on survival mode. Let's get started. To whoever is out there, if anyone, Know that we were here. We did our best. We, the survivors, doomed by our own mistakes. Aware of the risks and the price to pay, we took our last chance. I'm really interested to see, were you like me, right? Like when the guy falls to his knees, it's like, yeah, whatever. But when the automaton is in the street struggling, if you didn't see it, like go back, like it's, it's kind of, it's got its, one of its legs stuck and it can't, it's, it's trying to pull itself free. Oh my God, that tugged at the heartstrings. Right, here we go, the fall of winter home. Our generator is malfunctioning. Well, <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Uh, after our leader ignored the problems for weeks, Unbearable cold and brutal repression drove us to rise up against him. He didn't go down without a fight, and half the city was burned to the ground in the fighting. So that was a fairly good decision then. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, we're, it's the end of the world. We're all just, Let's have a big fight and burn the city to the ground. With the generator hastily patched up, your first task as new leader is to restore Winter Home and convince people it has a future. Then you'll be able to investigate the cause of generator malfunctions. This is going to be so freaking good. Oh look, everything's on fire and there's big crowds of people milling around, having a bit of... Should we have a riot? Anybody fancy a riot tonight? Because that's the way they talk in these places. They're quite posh. You wait till we sign a new law. You just wait. You'll see how posh they are. Restore the city. Our people are suffering in this badly planned, starving, half-ruined city. Good. Good, I'm really glad I've been elected leader, leader then. Uh, you have to restore their hope and quell their discontent. For a start, remove the charred ruins to show that the city is recovering. Our rampant engineers will inspect the generator once you deal with the present crisis. So, thanks to the engineers, they're like, nah, screw you. Like, uh, unless we see that the city's recovering, we're not gonna bother like, fixing it. What's the point fixing the generator unless the city's actually recovering? Yeah, so, so, if you want us, we'll be in the back. We'll have the kettle on. All right, so here, uh, let's pause it. So here we are in our city. 5 a.m., day one. Day two, the temperature's gonna drop because, because this is frost punk. What do we start off with? Well, on, on this mode, we start off with, um, our, our coal's full. We've got 900 coal, we've only got 30 wood, we've got 50 steel, we've got four steam cores, which is pretty cool. And we've got 300 raw food and no food rations. And we have got so many problems to fix. It's crazy. Right, so let's see. Let's see what we've actually got. So, um, we've got, I didn't mean to click on that. i mouse over this. Um, there, there are our tents. So this half of the city's all been burned down. So we've got a bunch of tents. We've got, uh, we've got a few, few bunk houses. No houses. Uh, we've got a public house right in the center because that's a sensible place to build it. We've got a couple of fighting arenas, which is kind of kind of not too bad. We've got a snow pit, which is in like the woods. They've really put some thought into this, right? They've put the snow pit like close to the center. So when you turn the generator on, the snow pit is where they, they bury the dead dead bodies. They just dump them in a, in a pit in the snow. Um, that will heat up and it will start to spread disease. It needs to be in a cold area. So we're gonna have to move that as one of the first things that we do. What else? Health, where are our medical posts? 
Yeah, see, same. <laughs> our medical posts. Let's spin this around. Our medical posts, there's three of them out there in like the worst place possible. Don't, like, don't put them near the centre where they might possibly be warm. Uh, and then we've got one out there as well. Okay, so what else? What else? Food. Cookhouse. We've got two cookhouses, one in the centre, one out there. Um, hunters. We have got one, two, three, four hunters. Now, I, the only thing I've done, I haven't played the game, I haven't played the scenario, so this is a blind playthrough, almost blind, but I did get to this point and just like check the place out and, and start to see, well, what would I need to do? Okay, we've got 580 people, which means we need to provide them with 580 food rations per day, right? For 580 food rations, that equates to like eight, not hunter's huts, hunter's hangers, right? Hunter's huts, we'd need like 16 hunter's huts to feed this place, and we've got four. Okay, so yeah, food, big problem. Uh, we haven't got any hot houses, fine. Um, hot houses, I don't know. We've only got four steam cores. I think we'll probably go hunter's hangers and uh, and then upgrade them. Uh, Hunter's Hut produces 15, Hunter's Hangers produce 30, and if you upgrade them, they produce 45. With 45, we could get away with like five, five or six Hunter's Hangers. So I think that's probably the way we're gonna go. Uh, resources, let's see what we've got resource-wise. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we have got a couple of coal thumpers. One up here and one down here. We've got we've got room for one coal mine over here. If I actually if I select it, I can show you. We've got one room for one coal mine that we can actually place. These two are blocked by ruins that we're going to have to clear before we can use them. Great. Um, we've got what else? Well, we haven't got any charcoal kilns. We've got one steelworks over here, and we've got and that's about it. We do have room for a wall drill over here to get w more wood. And what else? What else do we have? I think that's about it. Gathering posts. We've got, oh, I keep clicking on it, I don't mean to. I just need to mouse over it. Gathering posts, we've got one over here next to this coal thumper, and we've got one over here ne next to this coal thumper. Now, a, a level one coal thumper will support um, two gathering posts. Um, so we need to get another gathering post in at least next to those. Okay, so that's that. And then tech, we've got one workshop, which is down there. Uh, we've got a few steam hubs around the place. Uh, we do have our beacon already built and we've got an outpost depot. And that's actually a really important thing because up here we have got uh, our, our transporters bringing in 800 coal and they're bringing in 800 coal a day. If we go out here and go over here, we have a mine, the coal mine. Send shipments 800 coal to our city every day. Now you might think, oh, well, pff, easy, no problem then. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, even at level one, this thing, the, the generator, is going to use like over a thousand a day. So even with that 800 coal coming in and two coal thumpers running, um, you'd only just be covering that. And level one, like when the temperature drops tomorrow, level one won't be enough. We will need level two. So coal coal's a big issue we've got to deal with um yeah there's, there's no end of big issues that we've got to deal with what else is there um i think that's pretty much it okay now these buildings which are which are destroyed there are two types there are uh, that's a public house you idiot uh, there are wooden ruins which funnily enough if you um if you get gatherers or workers to go and um take uh, d dismantle them uh, you get resources uh, and you get wood. Further out, you'll find that they're steel ruins and you can get steel. So, when you think about all of these buildings, right, now there's 25 steel there, 25 steel there, and there, in here we've got wood, 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 wood. There's a lot of wood and steel. So, okay, well, that looks that looks pretty encouraging, and, and actually, it is. Uh, but you've just got to get your people to work, and the problem is, that it's freaking cold out there, guys. It's minus 30 now. So, like, if you were going out there now, you've got a very good chance of getting ill. If, um, and tomorrow, 
it's going to be very cold. We're, uh, and then there's a high chance of getting ill and a low risk of becoming gravely ill. Well, that means you get frostbite and you end up having to have your limbs am amputated, which is not too much fun. Okay, so so that's that. Now, obviously, you can you can harvest these using gathering posts, which is um, probably the 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 preferable way to do it, like outside. But we've got some we've got some alternatives. So what are we going to do? Well, the very first thing that we're going to do is because we've only got thirty wood, we're going to try and scrounge up a bit of extra wood. So, like, my tip number one, scrounge up a bit of extra wood by getting rid of some of the stupid roads that they've put in that you don't need. Um, God, this place was badly planned. But you can see, oh, whoops, you can see that there's um, there's plenty of roads that you, that you don't need. Um, if I go to there and go to Dismantle Street, there we go. So, we can get rid of these, and you'll see, we started off with, what, 30 wood? To get rid of that. There's plenty of roads that we can just completely get rid of. Um, do, like, do we need that road up there? No, we don't, because we've got a road going up there right next to it, so boom. And over here, like, same thing. Like, do we need either of these two roads? Well, as long as we keep that road in there, we don't need any of these roads here. So get rid of that one, get rid of that one, uh, trim that bit off the end. And in actual fact, well, hang on a second. If we've got that rug up, we don't even need these bits. So we could trim that back, trim that back, and get rid of this road. We've got a um, similar kind of thing here. We've got, we probably want to keep, maybe keep that road going up there, and then get rid of, well, they're, they're a real mess. I think we want to get rid of this road. Yeah, we'll get rid of that road. And uh, we'll get rid of that one and that one. Oof, round here. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the road that we want. So I, I think we get rid of, oops, I think we get rid of, yeah, dismantle straight. I think we get rid of this road here. And then we don't need these side roads. Um, I guess we'll keep that one. We don't, I mean, pff. I'll keep that one for now. Uh, how are we doing over here? Yeah, we've got some rubbish up here we can get rid of. We can get rid of that and that one that one and that one all around the fighting pit what are we up to we're already up to 89 not too bad not too shoddy uh we've got a bit more here we can get rid of get rid of that and that and that and yeah we've got so we've got two wooden roads here which god what a mess what a mess these two buildings there's a there's a public house which is, I think that's the that's the cookhouse, that's the public house. Um, really, we want to remove those and, and put other buildings in here. And it, assuming that that's what we're going to do, it would make sense to get rid of this road here and keep this one in. And then, like, this fighting pit, if we move that backwards into that slot there, that would all kind of work nicely. So, let's get rid. Um, I might keep that bit in front of the fighting pit for now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll get rid of that and trim that back. Uh, am I going to leave that road in for now? Hmm, let's see. What are we up to? 97. 97. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, we, again, we've got some stupid bits of stuff around here. Let's get rid of... Um, yeah, let's get rid of that and these three bits. What are we going to get? I mean, we should get up to... Yeah, we're up to 100. Okay, that'll do. So that's a big difference than starting with 30. So there we go. That's a, that's a good start straight away. Right, uh, the snow pit. We need to move the snow pit. So I'm going to move the snow pit um, to somewhere that I'm not going to be heating up. Now, out here, we've got the two hunters' huts. They don't need to be heated. So I think maybe beyond that in this area up here. So what do we want? Uh, we want, I'm gonna have to run a road up here. What I'm thinking is to maybe put some uh, some storage in front of it and then the, the pit beyond it. So if I run that out to there and get, let's see, what do I want? I want resources, I want a resource depot. 40 wood, 20 steel, big investment, but we need it. We need to get coal running as fast as possible. And with coal full, obviously, 
it's not going to fill up. And this guy's bringing 800 more coal in five hours. And if he gets here and he can't deliver it, then he'll just, well, they will just sit there and wait. And they'll wait for your coal. Like, if, if we've got 900 storage, they'll wait for it to go down below 100 before they can deliver. So putting this storage in, really important. Boom, in that goes. Now we can put in our snow pit. So snow pit is, um, no, it's not, it's people. Snow pit, now this doesn't cost any resources. They've just got to dig a pit. So we, we can't place it there. That's the first place that we can put it. So boom, in that goes. Need to connect it with a road. Go away. Need to connect it with a road from that corner down there. There we go. So that's all connected. Okay, uh, having got those done, what are we going to build next? Well, um, I'd I'd really like to get the coal mine going ASAP. So I think that's the way we're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to get a coal mine going. Why am I, like why don't I just focus on coal thumpers? Well, a coal thumper will produce like um, five, about 500 uh, uh, unupgraded. Will produce about 500 coal per day. Um, in fact, if I go to the resources, I can, I can show you. So let's see. A coal thumper will produce a pile of 560 coal per standard work day. Right. Uh, a coal mine will produce 240 coal per standard work day. But when you upgrade them, a coal thumper will produce uh, a thousand, and a coal mine will produce 600. So it's kind of if you've got the workers, and to be to be fair, we have got the workers. Um, you can just go uh, the route of coal thumpers. I'm kind of split. Um, it's all about space, really. If you've got the space, then coal thumpers are better. I, don't, I might change my mind. I might change my mind and go coal thumper because I don't know. It, the problem is finding anywhere that you could put another coal thumper in at the moment. Okay, that is the only place I think. Now I could put it there. Now if I put it there, would I be able to get a couple of gatherers in next to it? That's going to be the issue. Um, and I'm, I think that's dubious, you know. So uh, where else? We couldn't fit one in over there. We could fit it there and put a couple next to it, I think. Probably. Especially if I flip it around, which you do with the, uh, the middle mouse button. So if I put it there so that the, the coal pit that they produce is there, then I'm sure I could get a couple in there. Um, that might be the route that we go. But to be honest, we could do with this and the coal mine. Uh, what does this cost to build, actually? Let's have a look. Coal thumper. Coal thumper's only 15 wood, which is actually a good thing. So go on then. We'll put, we'll put the coal thumper in there. Get that building. Um, I'll have to wait with the... Um, with the gathering posts for now, I think. Okay, the, the single biggest problem that we've got, guys, uh, I mean, apart from freezing to death, is the amount of sick people. We start off with 37 sick and 11 gravely ill. So we're gonna have to deal with these guys. Now, the 11 gravely ill, we can't do anything with them at the moment. So that's probably the first thing. We go to the Book of Laws and uh, we've got access to, to purpose. We can go either, either religion or order faith or order I should say uh, and adaptation child labor has already been signed some of these laws have already been signed so we've already got the fighting arenas great we've already got the public house great uh, we've already got corpse disposal which is why we've got the snow pit uh, but they've already signed child labor so we can't have them as um, as apprentices they've been assigned to all jobs okay but we can decide what we do with all the other stuff so radical treatment is the way we're going to go radical treatment is going to allow us to treat the gravely ill in our medical posts. And it raises hope slightly, which is a very good thing. So let's get that signed. Cool. Um, okay, so medical posts is what we really need. Each medical post will treat five patients. We've already got 48. So yeah, we've got a problem. The question is, where the hell are we gonna put medical posts in? And that, my friends, is a real issue. Now, we do have some um, some uh, steam hubs around the place. 
Um, but like these three over here, if we look at this, these three over here are only supporting like working buildings. So we can actually set these, and in fact I'll do that now. Uh, we can set these to only work during work hours, so that they're not working 24 hours a day. But okay, which means that we definitely don't want to put our medical facilities over there. We want to put our medical facilities. I mean, like ideally you'd put the damn things in here, but we can't get rid of this stuff. So it's a case of putting them wherever we can. Now we've got a steam hub over here. That'll be working 24 seven. So we can, let's see, we want health, medical center. We could plop one in there. That should be within range of that. So yeah, we'll go with that there. Uh, we need more. Um, God, this is, this is pretty tough. Um, let me see, can I get, um, oh man, I'm completely out of resources now. Um, I'm just wondering, like, do I want to put that there? I, I think I can get a gathering post in just behind it. If I had two more wood, I could actually test that out. Um, is there any more wood that I can steal? I mean, I could steal that section of wood there. Should we do that? Um, yeah, go on, we'll steal that section. That gets me just enough. And we can get a gathering post. Yes, that gathering post will go in there. And the pit, the coal pit is there, so it'll it'll cover that okay. Um, I think we probably go with that. Yeah. Um, do we do that or do we get another, can I get another medical post? I don't think I can. Uh, medical posts are expensive in terms of wood. Yeah, 25 wood. Okay. So in that case, we'll go with the, um, yeah, we'll go with the gathering post, get another gathering post being built. Uh, what was I doing? Gathering post is resources gathering post. So let's just get that in. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need to do is start allocating all of our people. Um, there's one thing I'll do first. Well, kind of as, as part of it. So we'll, uh, we'll assign some engineers to our workshop so that we can get research going. What are we going to research? And there's a bunch of stuff already researched. We've got steam hubs and heaters and generator upgrades and stuff. We've got exploration. We've got our outposts. We could do more scouts. Um, but because you need to gather to remove all of these structures and because we want resources, probably the smartest thing to do straight away is faster gathering. Oh, and I haven't got enough wood. <laughs> oh, man. So I shouldn't actually have put that in. If I, if I cancel that, it should give me the resources back. Dismantle. Yeah. That'll give me enough, well, that'll give me enough wood uh, that I can put this road in so that that'll get built. Yeah, that should be connected by that road there, but apparently it's not. So I guess we'll put that in. There we go. Okay. Uh, so what am I doing? Over here, research. Add new research, and we want faster gathering. And that costs 10 wood to start. Okay, so we've got three wood, but we've got 20 steel. Now, storage. I've got one storage going in. Uh, what do I need? Uh, it's 40 wood and 20 steel. Good grief. Good grief. Okay. Uh, what next? What next? Well, I've done the book of laws. Um, I need to start putting steam hubs around the place. Yeah, it's, it's really now about allocating the workforce. So, where do we want people working? Well, pretty much freaking everywhere is, is the answer. That coal thumper, definitely. Um, now, where I can allocate children, I'm going to allocate children. Uh, and, and don't, th I, like, I've heard people say, like, oh, we'll give the kids the easier jobs or whatever. It doesn't make, it makes no difference. It doesn't matter whether they're working in the cookhouse or work, they're, they're working in a, in a coal thumper. If you can put them in there, then it's the same. So we'll get those guys in there. We've got, what have we got up there? We've got a medical post up there. That needs engineers. And that's the cookhouse. Kids can go in there. Um, gathering post, kids can work in a gathering post, so they can go in there. The hunter's huts, we need workers, so we'll fill those up with workers. Uh, there's nobody around here. This is the public house, that needs workers. Uh, the cookhouse can be kids. We've got the sawmill, that can be kids. There's some kids in the sawmill, where they belong. <laughs> uh, medical posts, those all need engineers. Boom, boom, and uh, boom. Uh, let's see, what have we got? We've got another hunter's hut, that's gotta be workers. Ooh, from Steam Hub. That can be kids. 
coal thumper. That could be kids. The steel works. That could be kids for sure. Okay, that leaves us with like 255 workers, 29 engineers, and 108 children. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on these inner rings. Now, the f I'm going I'm to crank the generator up so that this area in here will be workable. Um, that's, that's at least the idea. Whether it works, we'll see. But, but that's the plan. So let's get these buildings. What I'm gonna, now, I like to be able to see who's working where. Now, you can mouse over this and it will show you these, these yellow icons showing who's working where. But I'd like to see it like, I wish they'd give us an option to put something on permanently. And the best way, I think, if you put, if you put max workers in a building, it doesn't show you anything. But if you take one out, it shows you 14 or 15. And then you know, just you can just see where people are working. So I'm gonna put the kids in these buildings and I'm gonna max them out and then just take one off so I know where they're working, which buildings I've got people in and which I haven't. So uh, let's take one out of there. We'll have one guy in there. And you, and probably that one. Boom, that leaves me with nine. So let's put nine in there. Now I could top that up with a few engineers, I suppose. Uh, so I top that up with a few engineers. I'm going to have a few engineers spare, and this will get done like relatively quickly. So go on, we'll do that. That leaves me with 255 workers. Now that's going to bring me in a fair amount of wood. What we're going to need like a lot of is steel, surprisingly, because. Most of the buildings that we're going to want to build and a lot of the upgrades that we need to do are going to take a lot of steel. We, we will need tons and tons of wood, but we'll need a lot of steel as well. So what I'm going to do is these areas over by the these steam hubs, um, we're, going to, we're going to use those. So this, let's get workers in there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the minus one. So again, I can see who's working where. And I'm going to stay very close to these steam hubs so that we don't have people getting cold and dying of frostbite and all that kind of nonsense. Get rid of that one. What well, the hell's that building? Oh, that's the gathering post. This one should be in range, so let's get that one going. I would, yeah, that and that one should be in range as well. So let's have that one and that one. 157 left. Uh, we've got a steam hub there, so let's have you. And you and that's is that is that a bigger one? Than no, they're all twenty-five. That's that's a pretty big building though. Should be more, shouldn't it? Really. So let's have you and that should be in range. Let's have that one. Um, where else? That one should be in range. We'll double check that afterwards. I no, yeah, we'll see. That might not be. And then we've got, let's see, that's, I think that's it. I think that's it. Now there are other buildings over here. We've, we've got steam hubs over here. Um, but we, I, no, we haven't got any ruined buildings next to that one. We've got steam hub there, but again, no ruined buildings. Yeah, I think, I think we might be at the, at the limits. We can get that one, I think. That should be in range. Um, that one's going to be out of range. That one's going to be out of range as well. What do we like? We've got 73. So I th um, Now, I do want to keep some workers free because we've got some buildings going in and I need to put some workers in there. And uh, also, I want to be able to get buildings built. So I'm thinking that maybe that is good enough. Yeah. Now, there's one other thing that we need to do before we can kick this off, and that is we want to create some scouts. So get directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. Um, oh man, I need 40 wood before I can deploy them. So, oh man, let's, um, let's get a little bit more wood going. Let's get, um, yeah, let's get a few workers out here. We're, we're 45. Yeah, 45, and I've got 24 engineers, so I've got 69 people. Well, that sounds like a good number. <laughs> That'll make you giggle. Right, so that's it. Let's get on with it then. We can start running. Um, we do need 
to turn on the generator. And we're going to turn the generator on to... Um, do I go steam level 2? Or do I go... Yeah, I'm just going to go straight for steam level 2, I think. Yeah, steam level 2. Go. Now, if we look at our consumption, uh, if, we, if we start this off, we won't see it until it actually gets up there, but... Which should happen like relatively quickly. We'll get there. We'll get there. So let's see. Uh, we're not going to start bringing anything in until we get to eight o'clock when the workday starts. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous because Frostpunk is not an easy game. And I, I, I love reading the, the comments on, on forums from people who are like, oh yeah, if I, I beat the game in 15 minutes, like on my first playthrough, you know. It's like, all right, yeah, I believe you, not. Um, it's a tough game, it's a tough game. Like even on, even on, this is medium difficulty, this is like normal difficulty. Normal difficulty is difficult. Like, like once you've played the game a while, then it's not so bad. Right, let's uh, let's see, we've got our first event. Danger of disease, a heat zone has reached the snow pit. Told you. And the bodies are beginning to rot. Dangerous diseases could spread in our city. We should either move the snow pit or scale back the heat zone. Good point. So hopefully they'll build this snow pit pretty quickly and we can rip this one out. Cool. Now I am gonna put in um, another workshop when I can, but you know, with the resources that we've got, it's far more important to get um, to get other things built first. I mean, we've got one that gives you a hundred percent. If we put in a second one, it'll only give us, I think, an extra sixty uh, percent research speed. And then if we put another, it's diminishing returns. Another one gives you another, I think, forty percent or thirty percent even. So yeah. So having having got one. That's, that's like the biggest deal. We will get a second one in as quickly as we can. All right, we, we are working, we are working, and the wood and stuff is coming in. Okay, so we can now start thinking about getting other stuff. Right, we've got, these guys haven't quite arrived yet, but in 29 minutes, they're gonna arrive with 800 coal and sit there and go, well, you haven't got room for it. But if we put this in, boom. Now we've got room for a lot more. It should tell me how much room we've got, but apparently it doesn't. I thought that. I thought if you moused over that, it told you how much storage you've got, but it doesn't. Okay, fair enough. Right, we've got this uh, medical post built. Let's get five engineers in there. Um, what else can we do? Um, I can get the beacon going now, can't I? Uh, 40. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Uh, the coal thumper, we can get some workers in there. I haven't got any kids to put in there, unfortunately. Uh, everything else is hunky dory apart from this hunter's hut. Oh man, let's get some workers in there. I missed that one. Is everything else done? I think everything else is done. Right, uh, so we just need 40 wood, which should come in pretty quickly with all of these people foraging. There you go, 40. And now let's go get our scouts. Boom, we've got scouts, hooray! So we can send them out. Where are we gonna go? Was burnt, we've got four different locations we can go to. We can go to the stone ship, we can go to the dreadnought, the snow cliff, and the weather station. Now, I think, like the snow, as if I remember correctly from, from the other episodes, um, we came out this way to get to winter home. So, I'm kind of tempted to go back in that direction. I might go to the snow cliff. I have no idea what's at each of these, so it's potluck. Um, the weather station. I mean, the weather station sounds vaguely sciencey, and more more cores would be a good thing. Let's, you know what? Let's go to the weather station. Yeah, let's go to the weather station. So you lot go to the weather station. For Thirteen hours. Ooh, oh man! All right, let's go. Let's go, crank it up a bit. So, we'll, oh, look at that coal. Um, still doesn't tell me how much I can store, which is a pain. Let's see, uh, if I go to coal, does it tell me here? Here we go, coal storage, 1800 we can store. So we've got a little bit of room, but we wanna make sure that all of our coal facilities keep producing all the time. So let's get, um, we're gonna need some more wood though. 
I think we get another storage put in. Where are uh, resources? What do I need? 40 wood again. So let's get let that get up. How are we doing for the medical? I am very concerned about keeping. We've got 25 being treated. We've got 12 sick. We've we've managed to get all the gravely ill in there, which is good. Uh, I am thinking. I'd love another guy in there. Uh, uh, another medical center. Let, let's let's go another medical center first and then we'll do the other stuff. So what do I want? Health, uh, medical post, 25 wood. Of course it would be freaking wood. <laughs> God. Um, you know, I've got 15 and 19 engineers. No, we'll go with it. We've, we've got a lot allocated already. I'm, I'm, I am tempted to kind of switch some off steel and onto wood actually. I've actually got quite a lot on, on steel but I, I just know that we're going to need tons and tons of steel later. Go on, we'll take we'll take you guys off there and we'll get you on a wooden on a wooden building. So um, 14, there we go. Now let's have a look at our temperatures and look this is livable. This is all livable and around here all livable so all of these people they're perfectly happy they're okay now all of these houses out here they're not happy they're not okay they're chilly and these out here these are all chilly now these are our medical posts here we better put the heaters on so that they don't get sick while they're in actually in the hospital uh, but we need to address these as soon as possible now I could put yeah I could put um, some some more uh, steam hubs out here to cover these areas. But what I would prefer to do, if I can get away with it, and I, I don't know, I mean, we'll see, is um, is to once we've got these buildings removed, to build houses and get rid of these and move them into this inner circle. At least one lot of them. Now, maybe we try and move these guys in. Or maybe we put like one steam hub in here, one steam hub in here, and, and remove the outliers. I, I think that's maybe the way to go. Now, the steam hubs, they're only 20 steel, so I think that's probably the way to go. I wish that you could see this while you're putting these in. I, like, give me the range for this, so that I can see, what, like, where can I put it to get the best coverage, and... See, I'm thinking it probably needs to be, like, somewhere over there to cover as much of this as possible. Um, yeah, I'm thinking somewhere in there. So I've probably got to put a little road in. So that I don't actually put the darn thing in. Let's run. Let's run a road down there. Um, that's seven wood. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, construction and steam hub. So. There or there. It's not picking up that freaking house or it's not picking up that one um, take your pick take your pick I think probably probably there then oh no we uh, no, I want to pick that building up go on there then okay in it goes so well, we'll put that in to cover those we'll put one in on this side as well probably there Boom. Okay, so we've got to... I told you we're going to need steel. Okay. So they're getting built. That's good. Book of Laws is ticking along. Our technology tree is ticking along. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the steel is coming in. Look at the wood flooding in now. That's awesome. So now we can start getting some stuff built. Let's get uh, another storage going. Uh, actually, can, can we get away without a story? We've got nine hours till they come in with another 800, but we couldn't deal with that. But because I, I'm, I don't want to take a chance, I don't want to take a chance. Let's get another storage going. Boom. And let's hook that up in the road there. Okay, that's that done. Uh, I'd like to get another workshop going on over here. Now, to get this, to get another workshop in here. I'm going to have to move this tent over here. Uh, let's have a look. Tech. Come here. Tech. Thank you. Um, we could get, we could squeeze one in there, but we'd have to knock that house down and remove that bit of road. The, there is a, there is a spot there 
but it's not covered by a steam hub. Now I could put a steam hub in like somewhere down here. Let's have a look at the, what's the temperatures. If I, I need, I, in fact, I think I need to put a steam hub in there anyway. So yeah, go on. So we'll put, we'll put that in there and we'll put a steam hub in here. Where am I, steam hub? Oh, see, and again, it's like, I, that's probably the best place for it, or maybe in between these two buildings. Mind you, I want to get that, and I want to get that one as well, so I think probably there. Yeah, there. Boom, in it goes. Yeah, it's we're, we're doing kind of, sort of, okay so far. Let's, um, let's keep it ticking along. Now, there's obviously... Uh, because we're starting off with a with a, a fairly big city that's got a ton of problems, um, I've spent a lot of time on this first episode to show you like what's going on and and why I'm doing all the things that I'm doing. But I think next episode things are going to start to rattle along. And we're going to start to get these kind of events do less harm. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. Sounds nice. Uh, I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and work with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. Well, well yes, give him what he needs. This engineer won't be able to work, so it costs us one engineer. Hope rises slightly, or hope will fall slightly. Well, that's a, a lot of these decisions are kind of no-brainers. Some are difficult, but this one, no-brainer. Do less harm. Go. Okay. Uh, our sick count is falling. Now I put in another uh, another medical centre, didn't I? I need a road to this. Let's put a road around there. Boom. In it goes. Uh, what's that? That's a steam hub going in. Didn't I, I, didn't I put in another medical centre? I would have sworn that I did. Oh, that, that needs to be removed, doesn't it? Yes, it does, because we've got the snow pit. Uh, is it built? Yes, the snow pit up there is built. So this can, ah, now, that's a good point. If we can remove this snow pit, where, wherever the hell it was, where was it? I can't see it, now there it is. Uh, if we remove this snow pit, which I'll do, oh, come on, go to dismantle. Right, remove that snow pit, let's get that done. Oh, faster gathering researched, awesome. And it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, that's good. So let's get the next bit of technology research. And I think, guys, um, that it needs to be... So I'd love to go steam hub range and then go uh, steam hub efficiency. And I want to do that ASAP, but I think, because we're going the, the thumper route, I think I probably need to go the coal thumper. Oh, no, I don't. I need to go Flying Hunters. That's what I need to do. I've, food's going to be a massive, massive problem. Um, flying Hunters. Boom. That's what we do next. And that's a point. I need to get some Hunters Huts in. And I need to get them in, like, ASAP. My God, I've completely neglected my food. That's not good. That's not good. Where, where are we up to? Uh, 51, 50. Okay, so, let's see. We want food, Hunters Huts. Now, they start off with just being uh, made of wood. So, uh... If we put one in there, do I put one in behind or do I save that for storage? I think I'll try, probably try and save that for storage. Oh man, can I? I don't think I can squeeze two in there. Darn it. Um, I can get one in there. I can't, oh, I can get one in there. Okay, let's go uh, that. That's all I can do for now. So let's get, let's extend that road to there. Uh, oh yeah, we'd better do that one as well. Let's extend that road to there. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Uh, let's have a look at this. How are we doing temperatures wise? Uh, coverage, is, coverage is not too bad. There are still one or two buildings that, uh, that are gonna be a problem. But we'll just have to we'll just have to deal with it, right? Let's have a look at our consumption. Right, we are using about twice as much as as we're producing right now, <laughs> which isn't terrific. Where are we? We're up to four o'clock. Um, we've got another delivery coming in in six hours. We've got a thousand in stock. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We need to get. 
we need to get some more uh, gathering posts in. Let's see, what, what can we do? So we've got, oh, I need to mouse over it so I can see where they are. So we've got, we've got one gathering post there. So we need another gathering post. Um, the coal pit is in front. Oh God, that would, that there would actually work or I can put it behind. That would work as well. Um, God, the, the spacing of everything is just all over the place. It's a nightmare. Let's let's put a little piece of road going up there, and let's get gathering post put there. Okay, so we've got two gathering posts for that. We've got oh, let's see, we've got one gathering post there. So oh, that'll fit in there. So boom, that one goes in there. So we've got the coal thumper over here. We need to get, oh, I can get one in there. Go, keep going, keep going. Speed you up a little bit. Uh, is that enough? I think that's enough, isn't it? 15 wood, yeah. And we can get another one behind there. We need a road to hook you up. Oh, need two wood. There we go, two wood. And connect you up like that. There we go, okay. Right, that should improve our production a bit once all those get built and I actually put the workers in. Let's see what that does to our consumption. Uh, let's see, the wood and the steel is still coming in nicely. This is the thing, I need to kind of stay on top of keep putting in more buildings all the time. And I'm gonna have to get some people into these hunter's huts, like ASAP. So this can be allocated. Let's allocate that again to coal. So we've got, how much can we store now? We can store, no, that's the wrong one. I need this one. We can store now 2,700, peachy. Three nines, 27, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Right, I've got 15 workers, I've got 19 engineers. I have to free up some workers to work in these hunter's posts. So let's free up, um, where should we take them from? Maybe over here. So let's, uh, let's say no workers in that one and no workers in that one. That should give me enough workers that I can get them in there and there. Cool. Whew. Um, but I've got to get workers into those gathering posts. Oh, steel ruins depleted. We just got rid of three of them. I wish that had happened like two seconds sooner. So that frees me up 55 workers. That's nice. And it's now the end of the day. So at least our hunters are going to be off working. Right, we can get gathering post. I haven't got any kids available, so let's put you in there. We've got an extra workshop. Let's get some engineers in there. What else? We've got two workshops over here. Um, we're waiting for those to get built. We've got this one down here. We're waiting to get built. Okay, what's... Uh, is it telling us what I can... Submit? Okay. So what we, what we can do now, now that we're at the end of the day, uh, we don't need to heat up these other areas. So if we look at this, we should be able to drop down to steam level one with a bit of luck. And if we look at our consumption once that's running, come on, run on a little bit. Right, so we're now within within our consumption. Uh, uh, sorry, our consumption is within our demand, uh, within our production, idiot. So, uh, so we should be okay on the coal. How much coal have we got? We've got enough to last us till tomorrow morning. Yeah, we've got 19 hours of coal. So that's looking good. Uh, cold homes, let's heat some homes. Now, normally I would, I would say, yeah, let's heat, heat all the homes. But I'm actually gonna say I won't address this right now because not keep, like if you make a promise and you, and you complete that promise, you get a nice little boost to your hope. If you fail a promise, you get a massive hit to your, to your hope. So I'm gonna not make a promise. promise. I'm gonna say, nope, I'm not gonna address that right now because that's a difficult promise to keep. So yeah, that's that. What next, what next, what next? Well, next it's good to get these two finished building, which shouldn't take too long in the evening because there's like loads of people available to do this kind of stuff. So yeah, come on, get that built. I want to get these two built, kind of ready for the next day. Uh, we've got 52 wood, we've got 100 steel. I can get some more workers in there. I've got 35 workers left. 
Scouts have reached the weather station. Freaking awesome. You know what, guys? I think that is a good place to leave it for this first episode. We have got uh, a generator that's working. Uh, we, can, we can certainly crank it up to level two for like the working day, so that works. We've got pretty much most of our houses covered uh, during the night. We have got a few, but tomorrow I think we'll be able to move them and start building into this inner circle, which would be terrific. Uh, and in the meantime, let's see, what, what, what building is that? Oh, these are gathering posts, so we don't have to worry about those. So yeah, we've probably got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We've got about 11 or so houses, I think, which are not properly heated. All right, guys, we will leave it there for this episode. I cannot wait to see what you think of this, this, this new scenario. I think it is freaking awesome. And this isn't even the end of it. After, after this scenario, the next thing that's coming out is endurance mode, which is gonna be like a, a, a longer building process. This game just gets better and better. I will catch you for the next one. Please leave me a comment. If you enjoyed it, maybe even hit the like button. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. Peace out.